Hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing the uh, tool offsets, uh, measuring the, the height of the tools uh, so they can be put into Mach 3. Uh, so when, the, uh, when I go to change tools, all I have to do is change the tool and push cycle start. And I'll have to like adjust the height you know, each time I change tools. In order to do that, we, uh, I'm going to measure the, the distance from the uh, edge of the, the uh, tool right here. This is the uh, Tormach tooling system. Uh, from the edge here to the edge of the tool, uh, minus the cap of course, uh, right that there, and enter that into Mach 3 under tool offsets. Uh, I'm going to be starting by measuring the uh, uh, you can use a uh, dial test, uh, dial indicator. I'm actually going to be using the the Tormach um, uh, edge finder. Uh, when you touch it to a, I use I mainly work in metal, so I'm using this. Uh, when you touch it to a metallic object, the the LED, uh, the the light inside actually lights up, so you know you've touched it. Um, so I'm going to measure this one first, and this was going to get entered in as uh, tool one. Alright, so let's get set up to do that. Okay, well prior to using the uh, the height gauge, uh, if you're using a height gauge for this, the uh, you're going to want to zero it out. Uh, calibrate it, set it for zero. Uh, I've got this on a flat surface. I've got this all the way down with the, uh, the tip uh, resting on there too. Kind of a tight fit, but... Um, and looking at this, I can see that it's uh, nearly a nearly a thou off. So what I'm going to do is uh, loosen the uh, the bezel screw here, and uh, adjust the dial so it's saying exactly zero there and then I'm going to tighten that back up so this one was off about a thou so okay I'm going to go on to my uh, uh, tool measurements or tool offset measurements okay so I'm going to start off by measuring the, uh, the probe um, Actually, Tormach has some really good uh, uh, YouTube videos on this very subject. If you go to uh, Tormach and uh, Tool Offsets, um, but um, all right. So um, yeah, I don't have a, a granite uh, surface plate or anything like that. Uh, I'm gonna I'll end up getting one one of those Tormach ones. They've got one that kind of has a hole in the center. You just stick it in the hole. And you take this up to it and measure it specifically for this very purpose of measuring tools. Um, but this is a, a finished surface. This is uh, supposed to have a you know perfect finish uh, flat surface. So I'll just uh, use this for now. Um, I'll uh, put this in position, bring this down. This uh, should actually light up once I actually touch it. Um, yeah, bring that down so it's just touching it. All right, and I will uh, lock that over here. Pull that off. Okay, so I will take this information and uh, over and put it into uh, Mach three. Okay, so we will go over to configure tool table and we will enter the probe as tool one. So P probe and the diameter I already measured the, the diameter of it. Uh it's uh four hundred thou. I actually also went on to the Tormach website and got the exact diameter of it. So we'll go 0 0.400 tab. Now the height of the tool 
we will uh, look at this as uh, three. So we go three point uh, the number that's fully uh, exposed, which would be seven, seven, and then four. Looks like we're at four, five, five actually. Four, five, five. Okay. Now we'll click apply and okay. And we'll go and measure the next tool. The uh, next tool is going to be my my uh, four foot uh, uh, quarter inch four flute carbide end mill, and I'll loosen this back up so we can slide it down. Okay, and tighten that back up. Okay, and we'll go back over to Mach 3. And go back into the configure tool table and we'll go into tool two. I'll enter this as tool two. And uh, this will be quarter inch four carbide. And mill. And mill. Okay, and we know the diameter is the quarter inch, so we know it's uh, 0 0.250. And the height is going to be uh, we have the uh, three. A three point the number that's fully exposed <coughs> is uh, two two and then it's uh, eight one eight one yeah, it's pretty close to the one. Could be another two or three or something. I'm just gonna. Uh, I think eight one is uh, close enough for me. Okay, so that's the tool number two. We'll click apply and okay. All right, so we got. Uh, so I've got two tools entered in. Uh, I'll do a few more off camera. Okay, well, um, if the uh, the screen looks a little different, um, I actually ended up having to get a different monitor. Uh, the other one was on the fritz, kept shutting off. Um, so I got this one uh, just na just today. I uh, actually got it uh, is a Best Buy. It was like eighty bucks, uh, twenty inch or nineteen and a half or something like that. Anyways, it looks like it might be a little clear. Uh, got a new mouse over there too. The other one was on the fritz. Uh, I think they were both old ones that we had in the house that I think my son probably discarded because they were were bad. But anyways, um, so 
Now, where did we leave off? Uh, tools. Okay, so I got all the tools uh, set up in the uh, tool table that I'm going to be using. I've got more, but uh, uh, I, I'm going with these for right now. Uh, okay, so the next thing you need to do, we need to do is uh, go to the tool information. Uh, if we're going to be doing using the probe to touch off to set Z0 with the with the offset as part of the the tool offsets, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the tool and enter one. Uh, uh, now the funny story about that is uh, my friend uh, Sam. I've put his uh, uh, his uh, address or his uh, YouTube account up on the screen, but. Uh, I put one in there and I clicked off to the side and did something else and it went back to zero and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't stay on there. And uh, the same one said, well did you hit enter? I said, yeah, I hit enter. I'm so used to putting a number in and then going off and doing something and thinking it's going to stay. And uh, then like many emails later he said, well did you hit enter? And I'm like, enter? Oh uh, well, I don't know, let me try it again. So. I uh, put one and hit enter, and it stayed. So, uh, the moral of that story is um, make sure you hit enter on the actual keyboard. Don't just put the number in. So, uh, so now that's all set. All right.